Civic has changed how we do a lot of things, and now it's changing the way that Duke Health determines who is admitted to the hospital and who may be able to, be able to stay home and recover instead. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Ratana explains how their hospital at home program can help people. Linda Bustilos is a caregiver for her 83 year old mother. They ended up in the ER when her mom developed pneumonia for the second time. We were just really downhearted, and we thought, oh, this is going to be quite a long haul. She was offered a chance to recover at home instead of another long hospital stay. But it's really, really difficult to get any good rest, and I think she was able to rest. And then having the comfort of just being in her own house and, you know, silly little things, but knowing the TV channels. This is part of Duke's hospital at home program. The goal is to keep hospital beds open for the sickest patients. Maybe they had a urinary tract infection and they tried oral antibiotics with their primary care doctor and they need something IV or a little bit stronger. Patients need to have a caregiver at home. And we also go through and do a thorough review of their case and their condition to make sure that this is safe for them. Patients remotely monitor their own vitals, but do get in-person visits from medical staff. They can ask for a delivery of hospital meals too. For me as a physician, just a great, um, way to just add to the physician patient relationship and see a patient in their home. It may even aid in the recovery speed for some. From a psychological perspective that really helps somebody to get better too when they have a lot of familiarity and the routine. Duke expects to continue this even after the pandemic. No no hospital experience is great. Anytime you, you have to have your loved one in a hospital but this made it as best as it could be. Qualifying for this program has very specific insurance requirements and specific health condition requirements. I'm breaking down both of those online in my story at CBS17.com. I'm digital reporter Judith Rathana, CBS17 News.